All right, my friends, we're starting out laying down today. And of course, we'll start practice just by being very still and breathing deeply. So whatever laying down posture uh, allows you to relax more easily, choose that. Find just the right bend in all the knees and elbows. And maybe just to take a moment to connect with that big breath we want to cultivate. Maybe one hand goes on your belly and the other hand goes on your chest. And start to become very aware of how the chest and the belly feel rising and falling under your hand. Notice the outward expanding inhale, the inward contracting exhale. Get big. Find the top of your inhale and get small. Exhale everything out. All the way out, keep going. Take a few moments like this, using your breath to feel expansive and then really small. Keep the big inhale and exhale flowing here. And it's so healthy and effective for us to just spend a few moments breathing deeply before we even begin to move into practice time. Okay, at the most basic level, we're just connecting to our tissues and our muscles and our bones and beginning to approach them with more awareness than we normally would in our off the mat life, maybe. But we're also, by expanding and contracting the torso, we're giving all that tissue a nice massage, warming it. Allowing a bigger breath each time. Start to really press your shoulder blades down, okay? Maybe bending your elbows here and you could press your whole upper body down into the floor. And we'll take some windshield wipers in the lower body as we really ground this way in the upper body. So bend your knees and pull your feet inward towards your hips and then away from each other with the feet. And we'll just windshield wiper it out. really allowing very gently at first hardly any effort at all allowing the knees to fall and then once you feel your hips and your low back warm up into this a little bit maybe start to deepen it drawing the knees downward finding a little extra range of motion by looking away from your knees and you can make this really strong or, or kind of gentle. I just kind of want you to feel it out and interpret it. Think of arching your back up off the floor as you do this, creating more space in your front body. And next time the knees point up, pause there and really knock them together. Keep the feet wide-ish, but the knees are really knocking inward. And you might even pick up your hips Point your tailbone directly at your knees and then ground your low back. Okay, just kind of enjoying that release. Let your lower body rest now. And we'll extend the arms way back. Your palms facing up, big breath in. Hovering off the floor, exhale and pull your elbows down by your side. You can keep those palms facing up, fingers pointing back. So just big shoulder movement, inhale, reach. Exhale, pull back, hover. And do that a few more times. You can make this really gentle in your upper body or you can make it really strong and get really warm. You decide. Okay, maybe one more time. Reach out long and then pause right there with your palms facing up. Extend your legs. 
but keep your low back pretty neutralized, moving down toward the ground if you can. And maybe you can help that by putting a little bend in your knees. So take one more big breath in here. Get as long as you can. Okay, with your exhale, I want you to hover your arms and legs up off the mat. So we're creating a hollow body shape here. Okay, breathe. And remember, if it's too much on your low back, pull your knees in and you can even drop your head at any time. But let's play with this hollow body shape. Remember, you can drop that arm, those arms and legs. So you're inhaling here long. As you exhale, pick up your left leg and your right arm. Tap. Inhale to be long again. Exhale, switch sides. So you feel your core waking up big time. And if it's too much, remember, bend your knees and drop your head. You can do the same thing just with bent knees, head down. So I'd like to take a few more rounds like this. Maybe five or six, inhaling long, exhaling, hand to foot. I want you to feel your abs and core. Everything working side to side, very fluidly. Three more on each side. Getting really warm. <laughs> Two more on each side. Don't hold your breath here. One more on each side. Okay, once you come back to the ground, oh, release. Feel for a moment all that warmth, all that effort that just built up in your abs and your core. And then big long stretch out here on the floor. Stretch, open your belly muscles. Exhale here, pull your knees into your chest. Give yourself a really big hug. And we can smoosh the low back onto the mat here. And then let's tuck hands behind knees here. So hands behind your knees. We're gonna rock and roll a few times. Rock it up, see if you can balance on your hips, maybe with the help of your toes, and roll it back. Take a few more, just experiment. It helps to come up and fix your gaze on something just past your toes. <laughs> let's do it two more times, all right. The last time you come up, balance right there. Balance in your boat posture and let's hold. So remember, if the balance gets tricky, put your tippy toes down, realign, and go up from there. You can also use your hands down, okay? But we're gonna do some half boats, so we're gonna keep going, uh, strengthening the core and warming things up a little bit. With your inhale, roll yourself back to your half boat, your low back just on the floor, okay? With your exhale, you're pulling it back up to your boat. Use the exhale to pull you back in. Inhale, roll it out to half boat. Exhale, pull yourself back in. Get warm here three more times. Inhale and exhale. Two more, slow and controlled, please. Last one, we're gonna hold. So come on up to your last boat as you're ready and hold right here. Breathe, so you can put your tippy toes down and just rest. You can grab your knees and lengthen that spine here. Or for a little extra challenge, release your legs. You can point out through your toes and reach your hands in the direction of your toes. Let's take three more breaths in your boat. Two more breaths. Make any kind of variation and shape you like here. It's always fun to play with how your shape changes your balance. One more breath. Drop your feet. Okay. Point your knees out to one side here and I'll meet you in hands and knees position. So a tabletop. We'll start to extend the spine a little bit more. So it should feel good to stretch out your abs after that boat. Inhaling here, pull your heart forward. Okay, cow pose. Lift your belly button at the same time. Then exhale, push the floor down. Shake your head out. Let's take a few more cat cows. 
So you can combine your cat cow with a wrist stretch if you like. So you always have that option. And sometimes it's nice to tuck the toes a little bit. So find some nice movement in your spine. Here, I really want you to find little sore spots in your torso and roll them out, intentionally massage them out. Okay, next time you pull your heart forward into your cow posture, hold right there. Hold in your cow posture, pull your heart forward, keep breathing. Let's take maybe three more breaths here. Lift your heart, belly button up to Two more breaths, heart pulling forward. Last one here. And then exhale, push the floor away. Hold it right there. Pushing the floor down, lifting your belly button. Keep breathing here. Breathe into the back of your body. Feel your shoulder blades spreading apart. Maybe a few more breaths. Stretch open that whole back. Last one, belly button lifting high. Ah, find a nice flat back from there. Okay, what a great stretch for the front and back of the spine. So let's take the right leg out behind, tuck that toe and just put it on the floor. Give yourself a nice little calf stretch here. Okay, you can resist it a little bit. Maybe even feel it all the way up into your hamstrings. But let's engage a little bit of core work here. As opposed to push back through the right foot, could you lift the left knee up? And breathe. Pushing the floor down. Remember, you can always drop that knee and take a break, okay? Maybe one more big breath in right here. Push the floor a little extra. And then we're bringing it down here. Drop the left knee and pivot on it so that the left toes point to the left. Sorry. So a little side plank, uh, supported side plank. And then we'll get that right hand up. So take a moment here to settle into this nice little side bend in your right side. Should feel nice. You can reach out through the right hand. Big breath into that hole right rib cage. Okay, and now that we're here, let's open up this right shoulder. So we're activating the shoulder, reaching out through the bones, pulling back in the muscle. The whole right shoulder is turned on. Let's circle it out. Could you isolate this movement and not allow your rib cage to turn with the shoulder? Keep big breath, keep isolating, strengthening the whole arm. And rewind it. Very nice, go ahead and reach that arm up and pause here. I'm going to give you kind of a little fun option to play with. So pick up that right leg here. <clears throat> put a little bit of an internal rotation in the hip. And then you can just experiment with lifting it, okay? You can stay right here or take a break, okay? However, if everything's feeling pretty good, you can point that right toe at the back of your head. So bending that right knee, point the toe at the back of your head. And then maybe the left hand comes back to find that right knee. That right, uh, what is that? A foot. <laughs> So right hand is grabbing right foot. You can play with the push and pull, the dance between them. But while you're doing that, keep your belly button lifting in towards your spine. So in other words, we don't just want this little back extension to go into your low back. And make sure you keep your shoulders and hips very stacked for this. But if it feels all right, you can start to press that right foot back. And so we'll take maybe two or three more breaths, wherever you like here. Really nice stretch for that right shoulder and right hip. And let it all go. We'll put that right foot back to the floor, right hand back to the floor, hands and knees here. And let's get up off 
this left knee for a little while. So tuck your toes, hips up and back. Oh. Walk your hands back to your feet here. We'll hang. So let's take the feet wide, uh, really bend the knees and just kind of hang here, swaying. Uh, allow the spine to hang in traction. And really allow this moment of the upper body pulling on the length of the spine. Let that to be really healthy and add some length and space to your spine here. Let your head hang, maybe shake it out. And then perhaps here, if you feel like you wanna just hang in, in some nice stillness, really bending your knees to allow your upper body to hang. Maybe you take your hands behind you, you can move them away from you here, joined, fingers interlaced. And feel a really nice opening across the front of your shoulders. And then try this, really bend in your left knee, really super bend in the left knee. Could you extend the right knee a little more? Your right, your, uh, your left shoulder will naturally come close to your left knee. And you might even be able to rest the left side of your chest on that left knee and roll your head to look out underneath that right shoulder. Let your head hang, take some big breaths. Let's bring this to center. Hang over toward the right now, bending the right knee, extending more in the left, maybe not fully. And that right shoulder will come close to the right knee. Could you just turn to look under your left shoulder? Breathe. And let's roll it back into center. Release your hands here all the way to the floor and we'll walk them forward. We'll meet you back in hands and knees. So friends, from here, left leg out behind, tuck toes, put them on the floor and let's push back through the left heel. Nice little calf stretch. And using some nice core strength here and strong arms pushing down, could we push back in the left heel and hover the right knee up in towards your heart? Push down and pull in with that knee. Nice, just building some heat here. So one more big breath in. And then let's bring it down with that right knee. Pivot on the right knee so the toes point to the right. Left heel down, left hand up. Here's your little supported side plank. I'll spin around to face you. So here we are, very nice. Reach out long through that left side. Enjoy a really big stretch in that whole outer edge of the left foot or pressing down. We reach the fingertips away from that. Find some extra space that you didn't even know was there. And then as you're ready, activate that left shoulder. So reach out through the fingertips, but pull back in the muscles. So the whole shoulder is active. <clears throat> and let's circle this out, isolating if we can. All right, so I'm really noticing if the rib cage tends to want to move. <clears throat> Let's reverse it. Think of getting the whole shoulder warm. Okay, reach up and pause. Let's play right here. So you could just hang out here and just reach out through the left side and enjoy. Or you could lift the left leg and experiment with internally rotating it and just holding it in space. Or you can work on bending that left knee, point the left toes at the back of your head. Maybe left hand reaches for the foot and breathe. Okay, so very important here, pull that belly button in because we don't just want this to all go into your low back. So try to point your tailbone in the direction you're looking. 
out to the left <laughs> and roll the heart open. Keep the shoulders stacked. You can think of pressing back in that foot as you pull it in with the hand. So very nice for that left shoulder and the left hip. All right, one more big breath in here. Mm, let's let that go. So come on down, uh, two hands and knees again. And from here, same thing, I'll tuck toes here and we'll have us come all the way back to a forward fold. So lift your hips, hands walk all the way back to your feet. Your feet might be a little closer this time and just hang your head, maybe swing a little bit. Maybe give your legs a little hug. You can bend your knees and just hug them close to you. I want you to feel some nice space opening up in your low back. Whole length of the spine. Okay, we're gonna roll it up. So push into your heels here, inhale. Stack yourself up very slowly and deliberately. Reach up extremely tall when you get there. Your heart might lift a little bit. Okay, down into your chair for your exhale. So drop your hips, lift your heart. See if you can pull the knees together slightly. Inhale up to standing, big heart lifts. Exhale and fold here, hinging hips all the way down. Halfway up, inhale. And exhale here, make a very big fold. Palms are down, go ahead and walk it forward to a plank. Exhale here, lower yourself down very slowly. See if you can hover at the last second. Okay, grounding your hips here, lifting your heart on the inhale for cobra. And exhale, meet you in a down dog. Come on up and back. Okay, for our first official down dog of this practice. So walk it out a little bit. And then experiment with kind of wobbling your, your, uh, your heels side to side. Heels point to one side, heels point to the other side. Let's point one side. And next time your heels drop over to the right, pause there. If it's um, kind of in this weird down dog side plank. So we're gonna transition to a side plank. All we need to do here is just lift that left hand up. So we can shorten this stance here by bringing the feet in. And if it's too much with the feet stacked, you can take the feet away from each other on the mat, or you can drop the bottom knee to be in a side supported side plank, like where we were before, okay? So find any kind of side plank that suits you here. And I just want you to push the floor down and breathe. Big breath here. So lifting that bottom hip lengthening your spine. Think of pointing your tailbone at your toes. And could you put a slight bend in the bottom elbow? See if you can bend it right now. If it's locked out, maybe you need to drop the bottom knee. Whew. Okay, now here's your challenge. From here, I'd like you to lift your top leg. That's the left leg. Bend it at the knee and see if you could carefully place your left foot at the front of the mat. Now you're in a lunge. Okay, magically we arrived in this lunge. So inhale here, arms up, find your crescent lunge. Exhale here, palms together in front, right elbow to that outside of the left knee. Let's twist and hold and breathe. Lengthening through your spine. Big breath in. You can keep the back knee up or down. And if you like, you can sink a little more deeply into this uh, twisty lunge. Maybe we hook that right arm way down on the outside of the left knee and tickle the floor with the right fingertips. Left hand can reach up. And one more thing you can play around with. If you really wanna challenge yourself with balance here, use your left hand, okay, to put your right arm under your left thigh and then send your left hand behind your back to find your right. And you can really make a fine twist here, okay? One more big breath in, friends. Push that floor with your legs. 
and untangle yourself from this twisted shape. All hands down in front under your shoulders, back to down dog. All right, we'll take a little vin vinyasa here just to clear the, the space. Um, feel, always feel free to skip vinyasas and just take a break if you'd prefer that, okay? So hands walking back to feet here. Take a moment to just hang and hug your legs. You can grab your elbows if you like. And then we're coming up. So inhale, push into your heels, roll it up. Lift your heart. Exhale into your chair posture. Sink as low as you can. Pull your knees together. Inhale to stand, heart lifts. Exhale to fold. Palms are down, walking forward to a plank on your inhale. Exhaling slowly all the way down. Inhale for cobra. Pelvis presses down, heart lifts. Exhale for downward facing dog. And let's take some nice time here. Five or six breaths, please. Notice the hands pushing forward, feet pulling back, and all the length in between. So maybe try that little trick of walking your fingers an inch forward and getting that much longer in your spine. Okay, lift your kneecaps to allow your hamstrings to let go. And then as you're ready, we'll transition to that side plank, okay? So drop your heels to the left. You can stack them or you can separate them, okay? And transition into your side plank, right hand reaching up. And I'll spin around to face you here. So remember, you can always drop a knee. And I like to think that if you find that you can't bend the left elbow without falling, you need to drop a knee, okay? <laughs> so put a little soft bend down that left elbow, peel open your chest here, and lift that side body. Okay, tailbone points at your toes. And maybe, if you want a little extra special challenge, you lift the top leg and just hover. So we'll take a few more breaths here. I want you to take up as much space as you can right now. You're reaching into all corners of this posture. Now here's our next challenge. We're bending the right knee, pulling it up and in by the hips. Carefully place the right foot at the front of the mat. Nice. Inhaling here, crescent lunge. Open up your whole front body as you resist the floor with your legs. And exhale, hands down in front, transitioning to a twist. Here comes the left elbow to the right knee. Hold and breathe. Right here. Mm, nice big breath. So maybe you hang out right here. Maybe you drop the back knee, and that would be two perfectly lovely options. I'm just going to run through some more options with you because... I like options and I hope you do too. So you can work on getting the left fingertips down, right fingertips up, and that will deepen the twist. You'll feel your middle really twisting. Okay, continue to breathe from that belly button. Maybe you use the right hand to put the left hand under your right thigh and you can send the right hand around for it. Nice big twist here, long spine inhales. Belly button to spine, exhale. Maybe one more breath. And come out skillfully. Both hands land under your shoulders. Ah, back to down dog. Okay, we'll take a little vinyasa. Here goes. Inhaling. Move it forward to your plank. You can exhale, maybe hop or step to your hands here. A little fold. Roll it up, inhale. Exhale here, down into your chair. Now we're going to stay here for a full breath in. We're going to sink deeper for a full exhale. On your inhale, interlace your fingers, push your palms outward, elbows by your ears. On your exhale, reach your hands out to the right, a side bend in your chair. Keep your tailbone down. Inhale, back to center, sink deeper. Exhale, reach to the left. Two more times on each side. Inhale to center. Exhale, reach to the right. Inhale to center. 
You can do this. Exhale to the left. Stay with me. Just one more on each side. Inhale. To the right. Inhale. Last time. To the left. Nice. Back to center on your inhale. Stand up here. Release your hands. Ah, exhale here. Big fold. Halfway up. Inhale. Real big fold here. Exhale. Palms are down. We can hop it or step it back to plank. Inhale. And exhale. Lower yourself down. Inhale here. Cobra. Tailbone down. Heart up. And exhale. Down dog. Let's take some nice breaths here, please. Notice heart rate, breath. See if you could smooth out your breath if it got choppy during that chair hold. Mine did for sure. Pull the elbows inward and push back in the heels. Get those kneecaps up. See if you can close your eyes here and just feel the places where your hands and feet connect to the mat. All right, my friends. Inhaling here, right leg off and out behind you. Exhaling, swing that right foot forward. Go ahead and drop it between your hands. We're dropping the back knee. And we can use the right knee to press up to a tiny little low lunge, okay? All right, so I'm just gonna start to bring down the spiciness of the practice. We're gonna get real stretchy and mellow here because we got nice and warm in the legs. So from here, just find a nice uh, resistance against the floor. So remember to push down through all your leg bones here and imagine pulling back in through all your leg muscles. So we want that full activation if we're gonna lengthen any tissues. Now we just wanna hang out here in this little low lunge. So you can hang, you can drop your hands. You can use the right leg for a little support. Or if you like, you can really open up your chest here, lifting your hands. But it's very important that even though you're not looking at your legs, maybe, you're still pressing down into them. Big breath here, wherever you are, releasing any tension in the back of your right leg, the front of your left hip, your low back. Maybe one more big breath in right here. Ah, let's drop the hands all the way down in front here. And pull the hips back. Let's take a little, a little half split, a little Ardha Hanumanasana. So hands under shoulders. You can do fingertips too, because we want to try to cultivate a long spine. So get that spine long, heart kind of rolling forward. And then we're pulling back on the right hip. So really pull back through it. You wanna feel the back of the leg lengthening in a pleasant way, no pain. And go ahead and flex the front of the leg. Okay, so pull the kneecap in towards your hip. Activate that quad and pull your toes up towards your kneecap, activating your shin. When you activate the front of the leg, what do you notice about the back of the leg? So you can stay here, or if you have more IT band, maybe glute tension, you can walk your hands out to the right. Point the toes out to the right. Keep that flex up and pull back on the hip. You might find your IT band really tight on one side, maybe your dominant side and not really on the other, or maybe opposite. It's always important to notice imbalances and just store that information for later. Okay, let's walk this back through center and we'll just transition to a pigeon. So we can walk the left foot over, sorry, we can walk the right foot, this front foot over to the left, drop the right knee and use your hands in front to begin to position your hips. So they don't, the hips don't have to come down. So don't worry about that. But do make them level, please. And you can even sit on your right foot if you need to. 
Okay, bring the foot, the right foot closer to you to make this less challenging and move the right foot further away from you if you wanna move more into that right outer hip. But either way, the top of the back foot is on the floor. And we just wanna take one or two breaths here before we even come down. As upright as you can be, so hands wherever out in front they need to be. Get there and start to resist the floor with your legs. So you're pushing down into both legs, pushing the floor away. And activate those muscles pulling inward as the bones push down. All right, maybe one more breath here. Keep that activation, okay? And now walk your hands out away from your feet, from your, from your legs. So keep pushing down in your legs. Breathe deeply. Notice any places that you could let go of tension. Breathe into the right outer hip. Maybe one more really luxurious breath or two here in your pigeon posture. That's a really great friend for hips, just lower body, low back. Take your time coming up out of this wonderful pigeon posture. Ground your hands under your shoulders and let's tuck the left toes. Cover that left knee and see if you could send the right leg all the way up and out behind you, up in the air. Pause here in your scorpion. Okay, so scorpion posture, we're leveling off the shoulders with the ground by dropping that right shoulder especially and moving the left hip back to point the right toes to the left. And you might look under your left shoulder and wave at yourself. So maybe one more big breath here in your scorpion. And then release that right foot back to the floor, back to your down dog. We'll take a little vinyasa, okay? Yogi's choice to skip it or not. Inhaling here, heart forward. Exhaling, hop or step to your hands, fold. Inhale, roll it up. Exhale, drop into your chair. Hold here with me in your chair posture. Breathe. Come up on your tippy toes. And breathe. Okay, so keep your hips just about level with your knees or more. Pull your elbows back. Pull your belly button in and lift your heart. Notice what parts of your legs are moving and move your knees toward each other. One more big breath here, <laughs> and then release your heels. <sighs> Inhale, reach your heart up high. And exhale, fold it all the way down. Halfway up, inhale. Very big, exhale, fold it. Palms are down. You can hop it or step it back to plank. And exhale all the way down slowly. Inhale here, cobra heart up. Exhale here, downward facing dog. Walk it out here, push the mat away, pull back on your feet, lift your kneecaps. Okay, think of the whole right side pulling inward toward the spine and the whole left side doing the same. Maybe lengthen the spine by walking the fingers an inch forward. And then as you're ready, inhaling here, left leg up and out behind. Right, exhaling here, send that foot forward and drop it between your hands. We're dropping that right knee. We're finding a low lunge that we can just kind of hang out in for a little while. So you're welcome to keep your hands down under your shoulders if this is more what your practice wants right now. You could come up with that left knee, pushing on the knee if you like. 
Okay, or maybe hands are up. Just kind of find what makes sense for you. So no matter where you land, do resist the floor. Both legs push down. Okay, bones push out, muscles pull in. And allow that just enough activation. It doesn't have to be a ton, but just enough that you can release across the front of the right thigh and the back of the left. And we'll take maybe three more long, slow breaths in this lunge. I want you to use it to peel your body open on the right side in the front. Let the legs get nice and warm. Okay, as we're ready, we're letting it go. So hands down in front, we're pulling back on the hips now. Extending the back of the left leg, which we just warmed. So this is a great, this is great timing. So up on your fingertips is fine. Lengthen your spine, please. Pulling your heart forward between your arms. Okay, and we're feeling the back of the left leg opening up. So really flex the ankle. Think of pushing down through the heel and pulling back on the hip. And go ahead and work the top of the leg too. Work the quad and the shin so that you can help the back release. And the more you pull back on the hip here, the more you'll feel um, in that hamstring. However, if you want a little bit more IT band, okay, runners and cyclists, you're pointing your toes to the left and walking your fingers out to the left. So keep pulling back on that hip. All right, coming back out of that as you're ready, we're bending into that uh, left knee and we'll just walk the left foot to the right and drop the left knee. So headed to a pigeon on this side. So again, take your time, just stay up on your hands. You can walk them forward, get your hips up nice and high and allow yourself to just take time to arrange it nicely. So make sure your hips are level with each other. The right hip is gonna try to be higher. Okay. And make sure the top of the right foot is on the floor so you're internally rotating. And then you can move the left foot closer so you have less of a deep opening. Move the left foot further away for more of a deep opening. And then try to spend a few breaths just resisting the floor. That's all. Nothing more than just breathing and finding the perfect amount of effort to exert. Some days you're gonna to wanna to put 5%, some days 15, who knows? But how much do we need to push against the floor just to get the right amount of opening in the hips? Once you find that, then keep that press down, keep that resistance and walk your hands out. Drop your head. Nice breath here. Pull back in those muscles, push down in the bones. Let each exhale release a little more tension from your hips. And your left glute. Maybe your right hip flexor. Okay, as you are ready, let's peel ourselves up out of this. There's really no rush, no rush at all. Hands back underneath your shoulders. This time the left toes, sorry, the right toes, the back leg, right toes can tuck, hover the right knee and see if you could send the left leg all the way up and out behind to a three leg dog. So let's bend that left knee. Point the toes to the right, but remember to drop the left shoulder so that your shoulders stay level. And if you pull back on that right hip and look under your right armpit, you might be able to wave at yourself with your left toes. So big breath here in scorpion. 
And then release the left foot to the floor. Okay, one last little vinyasa here just to seal things off. Inhaling here, you are plank. Exhaling to your hands. Fold. Inhale, roll it up. Big, big heart moves up. Exhale, very last chair squat, just a normal old chair squat. Inhale to stand. Exhale, fold. Halfway up for your inhale. Make your longest spine. And roll it down, exhale. Palms are down. Last plank here, inhale. Exhale, all the way down. Inhale here, last cobra, heart pulls up. And exhale here, all the way down. From here, check it out, tuck your toes, lift your hips up and back and find a little hands and knees all the way through to a child's pose. In your child's pose, get your hips nice and low. I like to kind of wiggle for a little while and settle in. You want to think of peeling the heart open toward the floor, make it really big and really low. And we'll get a little side stretch here, maybe a twist by walking hands over to the left. Okay, take a little time out there, lengthening out the right side. Breathing into the right rib cage. If you want to add a little twist here, you can slide your right arm under your left and drop that right shoulder. Okay, looking out to the left now. You can keep it really gentle here or you can reach up with the left hand and drop it across your back. See if you can grab the right thigh and use it to deepen your twist. So keep your hips heavy here. We'll take a few more breaths, just enjoying this nice twist. Feel all the tissues of your torso getting massaged as you breathe deeply in and out. One more breath. And we'll release this twist. Bring everything back through the center of your child's posture and we'll walk the hands out to the right. So same idea here, everything heavy. Just think about opening up the left side first. Stay here or add the twist. Left arm reaches under right, left shoulder down. Looking to the right. So if you notice your hips come up, just put them down. <laughs> and maybe uh, right hand reaches up. Maybe right hand drapes across your back and you can grab your left thigh and kind of deepen your twist from that shoulder. Maybe one more big breath here. And release that too. Hands out front here. Just enjoy this nice open child's posture and just take some time to rest. So thinking about the beginning of the practice where we begin to really activate the breath and lengthen it and deepen it. Let's do that in opposite right now. So let go of all control of your breath. Observe its natural rhythm now. See if you notice any differences between this effortless rhythm and the one you started your practice with. Notice your body and intentionally let go of all control over your body as well. Mm. 
Let your jaw especially relax. Let the back teeth separate with a lot of space between them. With the tongue relax, the eye sockets, the neck, shoulders, and arms. And all the little spaces between your fingers and your fingernails relax. Allow each space between every rib to soften and let go. The whole belly, front, back, and sides. The outer layers of the hip muscles and the inner layers of the hip muscles. Let it all soften. The big muscles on your legs. Feel the kneecaps soften and melt. Ankles and feet soften and melt. And maybe you imagine as you stay very present in this moment, noticing everything, maybe you imagine that your body is glowing with a gentle glow of the color that you know. And with each breath, the glow gets brighter and bigger. And begins to spread outward infinitely in all directions. Toward other beings who may also be glowing. Cultivate a sense of bliss here as you just rest. Please spend as long as you can resting and glowing and breathing like this. At least five minutes would be wonderful, but longer is better. And give your body time to integrate all the experiences it just collected. But aside from that, give yourself this time. Be with yourself as if you really need it, right? The way you would be with someone who really needed it. Be with yourself right now. And my friends, this is where I will leave you today. So please keep resting if you can. Thanks so much for joining me and taking good care of yourself.